Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. Here's another video in my series on MongoDB. So my first video, I showed you how to get it, turn it on, set it up. It takes about 15 minutes. And uh, I also got this GUI tool for quick administration called MongoView. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to programmatically connect using C Sharp. So again, this didn't take very long. Uh, just wanted to share, share out with my community. So what I've done here is I have a connection um, to localhost and I have a couple of uh, sample databases, one called test with a collection called lintest that we're going to connect to just to uh, get started. Collections like a table. So you look inside of here, you can see the tree view, um, you can see the table view, and you can see the text view. So this just helps us to, uh, to validate what we're going to do here. So we also have this ability to connect and we can add a connection. And so this helps us to check and make sure that we're um, able to connect with something other than the admin account. I created a user called test and test. Um, you can connect to localhost. Uh, you can connect to a, a name server or you can connect to a, what's called a replica. Um, and all that stuff is pretty well documented on their site. But we're just going to do the simplest possible connection here. So let me just go back here. And then uh, where I got started was um, I actually went here on the MongoDB site and wanted to get the C-sharp driver. So they have a tutorial, um, you know, for connecting, also using link, and then, and then uh, you know, some other aspects of working programmatically with uh, data stored in Mongo. So that if you're going to use C-sharp, first thing you have to do is get the driver. So I went over to GitHub and I got this driver um, and that installs two DLLs into the GAC. And <clears throat> then to get started working with that, I just started going through the tutorial. So I just wanted to establish a basic connection. And again, it took me about maybe 15 minutes, so real simple. So what I did is in Visual Studio, um, after I installed the driver, then I created a test project, um, just a console app, and then I added um, MongoDB um, a driver DLL here and the BSON driver. Probably I'll just show the connection in this video because I'm trying to keep them short. But as I make more, I'll show you uh, interacting with data, programmatically populating data into the database, reading it, writing it, so on and so forth like that. So I uh, just made a console app and uh, using MongoDB driver here um, inside. I uh, created a connection string to the local host. And like I said, uh, you might uh, need to specify the port if you did something other than the non-default or a specific instance. And then um, everything that you use, uh, uh, the objects are prefaced by Mongo. So Mongo server create passing in the connection string. And then uh, if I wanted to pass credentials, just passing them in the username and, and password. And again, I created a user here inside of Mongo view just by um, adding, adding a new user um, inside of here. And there's my user and I just clicked add. So this, this admin interface was really kind of handy when I was getting started. Um, and then I wanted to work with my collection, which is the equivalent of a table. So I had this collection that I already populated using uh, the Mongo view tool. And then I just wanted to make sure I could connect so I could uh, read out the name of the database and read out the name of the collection. Um, there's also a ping um, method in here if you just want to ping your server. So then um, I just run it. And then let me bring this over so you can see it. And just simple as that. So very, very easy and simple to work with um, Mongo inside of uh, C Sharp. And I'll be uh, doing some more tutorials as um, I'm working with uh, Mongo itself. Um, again, I'm really loving Mongo View. I know there are other GUI tools out there, but I'm just really liking uh, how easy it is and how useful it is as I'm going along. So uh, follow me on my journey, learning about NoSQL through MongoDB. I am uh, Lynn Langett. I'll be making more videos on my YouTube channel, and I'll also be blogging for, at all things, for, about all things data at www.lynnlangett.com.